Ryan, what do the Maple Leafs have in Renard Valley? Well, big smile first and foremost, yeah. but uh, he's a he's a unique defenseman in that he's a big guy and he has the ability with the puck to be a, a really good decision maker on the offensive blue line with the puck. He looks people off and he's he's real real deceptive with the puck. Uh, and the biggest thing about Renat is that his uh, his ability to be a physical player. He can play any type of game you want to play. And uh, he's uh, extremely coachable, but uh, he's just—he's what you see is what you get. He's—he's a, he's a big guy. He's going to be—he's going to be a pretty uh, imposing defenseman. But at the same time, his his skill level with the puck is is tremendous. And the one thing uh, that really is going to set him apart from a lot of other guys is his ability to see the ice and. and you know he can scan the ice really well with the puck and, and doesn't have to take that first option even though it's there for him and, and he does a good job with that. He he really has the ability to find different people all over the ice. And for a kid who's only been in North America a couple of years his ability to acclimate seems pretty remarkable. Yeah he, he understands a lot more than he lets on and uh, <laughs> but 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 in a good way right like he's uh, he, he's a real smart, smart guy. He understands the language. He speaks the language very well. And uh, you know, the biggest thing for me is his teammates love him. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, he's a, he's a tremendous kid. Where did he make his greatest strides coming over from the USHL to the time that you had him out in Kootenai? Probably in January or February. You know, it took him. Uh, you know, he he missed a little bit of time because of the visa situation. So we didn't get him until uh, October, and. Uh, just probably the speed of the game from the USHL to uh, to our league, and then he really took off in January. He you know he got a lot more ice time, and he just had a tremendous amount of confidence, and and he's just skyrocketed to to be our, our best defenseman in the playoffs. So really, the sky's the limit for him, just because of he can play any type of game. He can be a, a shutdown guy. He's a, he's a good power play guy. You know, he, he's an all-around defenseman. What are your plans for him this year in terms of his progression and just how much better he can get? Well, he probably won't come off the ice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you know what? He, he's done a good job already. Uh, from the time he left Cranbrook to, to the time I just saw him here the other day, he's, he's done an unbelievable job of uh, really getting himself in, in tremendous shape. So I know he's well on his way to becoming a big, strong guy and understanding that you know, he is going to get a lot of ice time and he's going to play in every situation and he's going to be a big leader for us. And for a European player to be a big leader on your team, and whether it's in junior or pro, it says a lot about the individual.